what I did. Uh, uh. I'm still trying to stack that paper to the ceiling. Yeah. Put my mama on some acres with a, with a bin. Might fly my bitch out to Jamaica just to kick it. What's up, y'all? You're rocking with Bad and Bougie TV, and I am your host, the Bad and Bougie Queen. So let's get straight into it. OMG, guys, the spice is getting spicy. We have your girl, Koi Lee Ray, today. Introducing us to her father, Benzino, as a flum flam flum. And the reason why she's saying all this is because she claims her dad does not support her at all. She says it's always been her mom, her number one supporter of all the great that she has accomplished so far. She said the day that she happens to be at the top of billboards and number one on YouTube streaming, her father begins to try to pick with her and bring her down on the biggest day of her career so far. This is the thanks that she gets and she is really upset. And as a parent, he should be overwhelmed with joy, knowing his daughter is a fighter and strong enough to be in a star position. I would be very grateful and thankful of my children. Come on, parents, we got to do better. Let's watch. Hey, when I'm on Billboard, I'm on YouTube top, I'm on, I'm on Rolling Stone breaking all kinds of records, and this bitch-ass nigga... Benzino wants to fucking come online and start fucking with me, bro. Instead of being a father and just supporting from that side, you still want to be bitter. That's why you burn all your fucking relationships, my nigga. And that's why my career, yo, bro, I have to really bend my back and make sure niggas can fucking understand me as a person. Because at the end of the day, I don't want my father's relationships and the bridges he burnt to affect me. All that other personal shit he talking about, mansions and all that, everybody that's know that's been in my life is fucking cap. That nigga is cap, cap, cap. We lost everything. Source was gone. By the time I was old enough to even understand the source, that shit was gone, bro. Give it up. Don't blame my mother. My mother is the best thing that ever happened to me. My number one supporter overall. At the end of the day, this ain't here to bash my father. And, and let me not get ahead of myself and be disrespectful. I don't even mean to call a nigga a bitch ass nigga, right? But at the end of the day, that's a fucking bitch move, my nigga. That's a bitch move. If you a father, right? Support your fucking kids, my nigga. And that's it. Don't go online looking for fucking... Uh, what's the word called? Clarity? Like, what the fuck are you looking for? Some type of fucking sympathy, nigga? You want people to feel bad for you? Because of what? Let's talk about how I don't speak to you. You didn't, you didn't wish me happy birthday on, like, damn near none of my birthdays. Didn't say happy Thanksgiving. Haven't spoke to you in months, but then try to get me to go on growing up hip-hop. Right? Try to get me to go on growing up hip-hop. Told me that they wasn't gonna let you on it if it wasn't for me. They didn't want to pay me the money I wanted. After that, I never heard from you again. Never heard from you again. Come on, my nigga. Y'all niggas is fucking weird, bro. Like, I had to pull over and really stop because I'm shaking. I'm driving by myself on my way to my little appointments or whatever so I could finish up what I got to do so I could get ready for my Atlanta trip. My mom called me. It's crazy because we was just on the phone crying yesterday, sharing this moment. Like, really sharing the moment. Like, niggas don't even understand, like, and I, I can't wait to tell my story because it's so many young females, young male that got industry parents or that, 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 that got people in the industry and these fucking people feel like they got so much power, bro. These motherfuckers got so much power. Nah, them tables turn. Y'all niggas is out there. Bougie queen, you already know what I fucking mean. When I come through, I mean business.